Hi, welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I'm Deanna. I'm Jocelyn. That's Jocelyn. Uh, we're here on this early morning starting uh, some new patterns. So I'm going to be putting some patterns, I'm going to be uh, putting designs onto the patterns for people to hook. And it occurred to me that maybe there should be a very, very, very beginner video on how to sort of preserve and save and protect the edges of your piece while you're working on it. Um, if you are a person who doesn't sew, um, and you don't have a sewing machine, uh, this is gonna be a little bit hard. This is gonna maybe be impossible. But this, for people who have a sewing machine and a very basic knowledge of sewing, this is gonna be the easiest thing for you to do to save your edges. So if you've noticed when you have your piece that you're working with, whether you're working with linen, I had some linen around here, here it is. Whether you're working with linen or monk's cloth or what, um, the edges will want to fray. They just want to uh, keep unraveling if they can. Uh, monk's cloth too, I just cut all this monk's cloth, which gave me the idea because I immediately need to protect these edges. It will just keep fraying and fraying. All these little threads will keep, keep going, particularly when you're working on it on your frame or your hoop and you're moving it around. So you want to be sure the edges are safe. Now, if you were a person who had industrial equipment or advanced sewing equipment, like a serger machine, which is also called an overlock machine, you'll notice that a lot of uh, commercial patterns come with this kind of an edge. And that is an overlock edge, also called a serger edge. So that means that a machine, it's a machine that sews and cuts as it goes. It sews, it's the kind of machine, if you can picture it with like multiple bobbins, big bobbins on the back, and like four strings coming forward. And it, it sews both sides at the same time, and another feature cuts. So it cuts the edge to make it perfectly straight and it seals it at the same time. But if you do not have an overlock machine for home sewing, a home sewing one would work for what we do with sewing up the edges of linen and monk's cloth, um, not super heavyweight uh, materials. Um, that would work. And then there are commercial ones that do heavier materials. I used to use those when I worked in the theater and we did stuff with leather and a really heavyweight material. But for what we do, a basic overlock would work or this would work just as well. Before I start using the sewing machine, I wanna um, also say that if you don't have any of these options for sealing your edges and you've seen people wrapping a piece of tape around the edge, that's fine too. Um, that will help keep it contained. If you do have a sewing machine, I would say if there's any chance that you can put a zigzag stitch on your edge instead of the tape, it will be better because the tape will can, does, and wants to pull off. And as it does, it pulls with it, of course, more threads. So if, if you're thinking that it's like 50-50, all things are equal, using tape or using a sewing machine to seal the edge, they're not really equal. The tape would be, if you don't have a sewing machine, if you're not able to get to it or use it, um, but the number one would be for most people sealing the edges with a zigzag stitch. And that's just with a regular machine here, right? Jocelyn Stein will learn how to sew. So I've got my machine on, and this is just a, one of the new singers. I hate this digital stuff, but it, I have to say it does work well, this machine. There's like all these things. There's lots of choices. So, that you can play on the edge. Yeah, there's lots of choices. There's lines. It's showing, it, it defaults, always defaults to the straight line. And I'm just going to go to the first zigzag. I don't need the mountain range zigzag. I don't need the... Uh, how is your, are you flatlining? Are you almost dead at the hospital pulse rate uh, zigzag? I don't need the polka dot zigzag. I'm just gonna go for the plain zigzag, just a zigzag. And I've got it set at the default width and up and down, and that really doesn't matter. What you want is a zigzag. Just like if you do sew or you have sewed in the past, you remember pinking shears, the scissors with the big claw. I've got some right here. If you're a quilter, you already know how pinking shears work, right? It's the same principle. Let me get a scrap, I just threw all the scraps out. It's the same principle. When you cut something with a zip zigzag, this is like rug warp, um, it does a zigzag. And a zigzag will protect your edges better because um, things are woven like this at right angles. And then when you zigzag it, you've got a bunch of diagonals. So it's, it's not going to be, your material is not going to be as inclined to unravel because it keeps hitting uh, stops with the zigzag. So pinking shears, not a great option with linen and monk's cloth because they really want to unravel. But again, the principle is that you're doing something 
with a zigzag um, to prevent it from traveling, the, un the unraveling from traveling. So I'm literally just going to zigzag stitch right around the edge. I just put my presser foot down right around the edge and it's gonna be this easy to make a pretty professional finished edge on, push on the pedal with your foot, yep. We're assuming that people do use their sewing machine. Now, it's really loud. It's really loud. It's like a plane taking off or something, except you're not going anywhere. We're gonna be going to the shower in a minute. That's where we're going. I can see the Yep. And then when I get to the edges, I slow down. I always leave my needle in when I make turns, um, just to be sure. And sometimes if I wanna be really safe, I backspace. But essentially, I'm just going to go around the edge of this entire thing, super, fa super fast. Keep losing my voice. Um, yeah, Joss, I think you do have to do zigzags because of that principle of things going diagonal against the grain of the material. Um, that's what you want, is something to go diagonal against the grain of the material. You see how much, I mean, I just cut this monk's cloth five minutes ago, and it already wants to, and I cut it pretty straight. I mean, not perfectly straight, pretty straight. I'm going to put my pattern on very straight. But you see, it really does want to unravel, so it's really a good thing to get this done. I'm coming right to the end of it, and I'm going to backstitch just a little bit. I just did one stitch all the way around. So, then I'm going to cut it loose. That looks really cool. Does that look cool, baby? Baby, you are so cool. So, and then I'm going to just, I usually just pull off the obvious edges so that I'm pretty clean to start with. And it does make a cute little fray around the edge. And I have effectively sealed this piece. Let's get rid of machine. Unplug, unplug. And look at this. And turn it off. Well, I cut off its connection to electricity, so it died a quick death right there. We'll put it on later. So I'm just pulling off my little edges, and I'm going to iron it, and I'm going to um, transfer my design on there. But you can see at this point, this is this is finished enough for what we're doing, right? I'm only making one of these. I'm making, um, well, actually, I'm making a few. But I am not a huge monster company where I need to make thousands of these. It makes sense for me to just use my zigzag to go around the edge and to finish this because now it's it's very safe. I've Good never... Luck. You missed it. I did, I missed a thread. Thank you, baby, the front and the back. So that is essentially it. When you wanna finish your edges, if you can do something other... Morning, morning craziness. If you can do something other than um, taping, if you have the means to do a zigzag stitch around your edge of your uh, backing piece, You'll be so happy that you did, that you took the time to do that. Even if I just leave the machine down in the corner of the room, you know, it's just, it's there for when I have to do something like this in a hurry. So this would be an ideal way to finish your edges. If you are a beginner and you're looking for something to do and you're struggling with unraveling, pop out the machine, zigzag the edges, and you are good. Have a great day from the Ribbon Candy Hooking Channel. You say bye, Joss. Bye. <laughs>